All right, guys, so we're going to go over the greatest library of textures in existence. Google, Google Images. Now, you might notice there's the lava texture that I used a few times. It's been on Google this entire time. Under the keyword lava texture, larger than 12 megapixels. You can find it. It's the first one. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because... I mean, you can find normal maps if you need to, a few of them. Um, if you choose to go to any size, you're going to find a million and a half of them. That's a good one. That definitely would be good for waves, even though it's from NVIDIA. Second thought, don't use that. Um, that might break your game. And uh, the facts are, you can find normal maps for anything. You can find texture files that you can turn into normal maps with applications like uh, Crazy Bump there and create specular water like this. It's an unlimited resource. Google is the way to find good textures. You um, crop them properly, you make them seamless. You save them as a PNG so you don't lose any quality. And, you know, then you use them in the game where you need them to use them. I like that. That's, that's classic water right there. A new map 1.tn. Creating an orange spear in Unity. Oh, look at that. So much you can do. Using flow maps. Basically, Google is your number one resource. Every texture I've ever used, I've gotten from here. Or from the asset store, the marketplace. I mean, so incredibly easy to find what you need. You just got to use the right wording. There's texture maps for water. Tons of them. You can turn that into a wave map if you want to, if it wasn't so ro low resolution. You know, any of these are definitely useful. You make normal maps out of any of them as well. That would be good for um, a flow map as well. Your resources are unlimited here. Say it one last time. With Crazy Bump and Google, your world is unlimited. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'm out of here for a while. Have fun.